Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. It's the near future, and Earth is on the brink of an environmental disaster. Michael Recycle is looking for ways to fix the problem when suddenly a visitor from another galaxy enters Earth's atmosphere. Borat the Space Cat. Borat not only has ideas to help Michael stop Earth spiraling into disaster zones, but he wants to show Michael just how it can be done for good. Oh, and let's not forget the vegan Vikings that help out too. Let's experience a magic of reading as I read Michael Recycle Meets Borat the Space Cat, written by Ellie Patterson and illustrated by Alexandra Colombo. One summer's night in the middle of June, Michael awoke to a gigantic boom! A thud and a clatter, a shriek and a splat. He pulled back the curtains and there was a cat! <coughs> then the strange feline said as he got out of bed, I fly in a rocket, but I am a cat. Pleased to meet you, dear Michael. My name is Borat. The place I call home is a faraway planet run by our leader. Her real name is Janet. She sent you this note and called it Code Red. So please let us do whatever she said. The name of our home is the great planet Splurth. It looks quite a bit like your own planet Earth. We took it for granted, but a last danger loomed. And before we all knew it, our planet was doomed. Plastic was used as if going out of fashion. We ate lots of meat. Fast food was our passion. After using the planet's abundant resources, we had to find fuel from alternative sources. We burned so much wood that our planet grew warm. Ice caps all melted great storm after storm. Waters rising so fast we were all on the brink. Without some new action, our planet would sink. When things were most bleak, we saw ships in the sky. Some odd-looking people had come to ask why. Why had we ruined the place we called home? They said the results were the fault of our own. We are Vikings and vegans that travel through space. We have no home of our own. We belong to no place. If we did have a home, we'd make sure to take care of all the natural life that lives there. Those Vikings from space, they saved us, you know, so we brought you a gift that is going to show how to not make the same silly mistake. Come out, my good friend. Come out, Viking Jake. From out of the rocket came a strong, mustached man. He hustled his muscles and serious tan. Hello, I am Jake, so you must be Michael. With a wave and a wink, he asked, So you like to recycle? Pleased to meet you, said Michael, and yes, that is true. But I fear our friend Borat does not have a clue. There are people on Earth that are so very strange. Some don't even believe there is climate change. We'll show them, said Jake, as he pulled from his pocket a machine with a laser, a light, and a socket. You Earthlings all love a good movie, I've heard. Maybe showing this film can help spread the word. I filmed what we did to save planet Splurth. May it teach all of Earth what their planet is worth. They must do all they can to save it and fast. But we haven't much time. It's not going to last. Look at the dial on this compass of mine. It says we have 200 days left of time. days? That's not very long. Come inside while I put my thinking cap on. Let's visit each capital city and fast. All 195. It would be quite the task. I can help, said Borat. On my rocket is a lever. It can teleport someone from here to wherever. It will give us the time to make our way around and inspire people in each different town. 
off they went on their journey from Helsinki to Rome. At each stop, their message became better known. But just when approaching American soil, the rocket ran out of vegetable oil. Don't worry, said Michael. Let's land on that farm. The fuel that we'll source won't cause any harm. Michael approached some cattle to plead, please lend me some methane so we can proceed. The cow lifted its leg, one eyebrow then parted. Hearing Michael's request, the bovine then farted. <laughs> With quick obligation, it didn't take long. The rocket took off and the race was back on. <laughs> As the rocket touched down in Washington, D.C., large crowds had amassed to greet them with glee. They'd heard of the film and they cheered oh so loud. The sound of their voices made Michael quite proud. So all of the distance and journey they'd flown made the dial on the compass go back to safe zone. And now they'd ensured that dear planet Earth had escaped the mistakes of the great planet Splurth. The end. Michael recycles tips on how you can help your planet. How many of these do you do daily? Use less plastic, recycle, compost, buy second hand, cycling or walking rather than using cars or buses or trains, take your own bags to the supermarket, conserve water, avoid being wasteful, grow your own vegetables, eat less meat. <laughs>